Did you really think I had the mask on? Well, if you did, you thought right. Because guess what? We don't clickbait here on Captain Nerf Major Reviews. Guys, welcome to Captain Nerf Major Reviews. <laughs> Alright guys, this is another review for Captain Nerf Major Reviews. I'm your host, Captain, and in today's episode we'll be, of course, reviewing the Mega Mastodon. This gun is massive. So start um, with where it is in Nerf. So, this blaster is in the Mega line, which personally I'm a fan of, especially for videos, because you can actually see the darks and stuff. Um, they do really well for cinematography and stuff, but like... Even, they're really fun to shoot, even though they're not always the most accurate. But this is Mega Line, for those who don't know, Mega Line, Mega Darts. That's simple, giant red darts, or unless you get like a special version, like a Sonic Ice or Zombie Strike showing, they'll be different colors, but standard red darts. Whistler darts, to be precise, they have a little slit on it, um, both sides, it makes it whistle if you get it flying far enough. So, and I'm sorry if I sniff or something. Uh, stuffy nose. Alright, so let's talk about the blast itself. Just appearance. Um, for some of you might be able to see it. Not, well, here it is. So, it is, majority of it's red and then it has orange on the handle, around the drum, front, stuff like that, and triggers and stuff like that. And then it has a dark gray and white and it says mega right across the across the top or side the front <laughs> um which you can which is actually 3d it's not just painted on um right here it's up close but you can still see it's 3d and over here you can it's actually like sticking out from like it adds width and which i think it looks really cool it definitely shows this mega like honestly if you see this gun first of all if it's red it's usually mega but it makes it loud and clear that it is a massive mega blaster. All right, let's get into, and then also, sorry, okay. Also, that it says Nerf and gray on here. It says Nerf over here and Mastodon right here. It says Nerf over here. It says Nerf a lot on it actually. Um, only says Mega or Mastodon each once, which is very interesting. That doesn't count. The ugly side, the side that Nerf doesn't paint, the left side, which it just says Mega in red and Nerf on red, which you can't see on the camera. Like, it's kind of pointless showing them, but like, if you really want to know, there you go. Um, but before we get about like how this blaster works, I want to talk about with the unboxing. I actually made an unboxing video. Well, not a full video, just the unboxing part, because I got it for Christmas. Um, and I so I could open it and stuff, and I didn't want to film the opening, it was getting too dark, so I quickly filmed something about it, but I'm not going to use that. Uh, but, uh, there is a lot of stuff you have to do. For instance, yep, does not come with the barrel, or drums, sorry. It comes with three pieces that you have to slide on, and if you mess up, it can be hazardous. Luckily, I got the pieces off, but it took a while. It was really hard to get pieces back off, because one of my drum pieces slipped and it was off and it caused it would cause jams if I got the batteries in and I left it. Luckily I didn't. Um and then you have to put some guards. Like you put a guard over here and on this side. And yeah. Um and that's about it. And then it takes six D batteries, which isn't fun because D batteries are expensive. And the fact that it takes six really bugs me. I understand for firepower, for speed and stuff, but like, if you get them in a pack of eight, then you only have two left, so you can't, usually, the guns that take D batteries usually take four or more, four to two, six. So it's not like you can use four and put four in another big gun. You have to buy more, which is really annoying. Um, but that's just how it is. And this gun has a jam door right here here that slides open which so I thought this was the side it would be coming out of you know but actually it's the side it goes in which I understand that but like I don't know I feel like usually goes in from the right I don't know 
It just feels weird. I thought the barrel would travel that way, even though I think nerf blasters do travel this way. I don't know. I, I, I was just confused the first time I found out. And this gun has two tactical rails right here and right here. <laughs> you want to need this because the only things up here you really put are scopes. And you're not going to use that with this gun. But I mean, if you want to make it look funny or stupid, you know, you could. That's, of course, your opinion, you know. I kind of want to do it just for fun. <laughs> I don't know. I love putting scopes on blasters that don't even, wouldn't even work. Like, the barrel's way too low. I love making them look kind of funny. It's actually fun. And for those who are have the blaster, getting the blaster, batteries go in on this left side where it says Mega on the red. Um, just one screw to unscrew. And yeah. It's, um, it does take a while to assemble, just a note. Like, I mean, it's not a super long time, but, like, you don't just get it and open it and start playing with it. You have to spend some time on it. That's why it took me, like, I didn't open it right away. All right, let's get to the official blaster itself. So, this is a flywheel um, blaster. So, flywheel, a lot of people know them as, like, electronic, electric ones. Revs up, shoots through fly, um, flywheels. Uh, yeah, so, the standard electric one, it does take a second to, um, rev up all the way. If you can hear once it gets to its loud part, so, like, oh, this is, oh, yeah, it takes roughly a second, a second and a half, sometimes two, so, keep that in mind that you can't just run and, like, yeah, because you'll get shot or you have to rev it up and then go out into the field, so it's not best for sneaking up, but probably pretty good to take down bases, like, for instance, capture flag, I love playing capture flag. I've always wanted to do this, is just go into where they're guarding the flag and just shoot them all, you know? Because you can do this with this type of blaster. Also, this gun has a barrel cage. You do have to also assemble this, I forgot to mention that. Um, so you could put it down, which is actually really nice. I love using this as a turret while I'm laying down. I'll occasionally, when I'm shooting this way in wars, put it up here. Which I have used this gun in wars, and it's pretty fun. And yeah, the handle you have to attach. Simple handle. It also comes with a strap, a shoulder strap, but I don't really use mine. I know, I put it on, it was kind of weird, it didn't really... Like, I couldn't get it to like work really well. I didn't even really use it or anything, I just took it off, I was like, no, I'll just use the base blaster. I don't need the shoulder strap getting in the way or making me have to like, rotate to get it on, so... If you've used this and you like the shoulder, shoulder strap, let me know. I don't really use it. I still have it if I ever want to try it. But I, I wasn't, like, super into it. And also, I did forget to mention uh, one more tactical rail on the bottom. So get a foregrip, even though it's hard to get your hand around because of the drum in the barrel cage. And you got yourself a big deal, you know. Yeah, this isn't... Um, this blaster is... Sort of heavy, guys. Um, if you, I mean, it's not that bad, but I don't think a little kid could handle it for very long unless they're using it like a turret or have it on the ground or resting on something. But a little kid, I don't see running around carrying this shooting because it is, I don't know, 10 pounds. Probably actually more. I don't know. I don't have a scale to me to <laughs> to measure one of these. Um, this blaster does shoot fast, but not as fast as other full auto guns. If you really, really want fast, a regulator or a hyper fire would be um, better. But this is the Mega. It size holds 24 darts, which is really nice. And I got this in a certain pack um, that actually came with 72 darts. So three times the darts. So originally, this gun never jammed. Um, it just worked fine, and then the darts kind of got it started, like, I don't know, like, barely anything happened to them, and they would start to jam. So I got my other bullets and put them in. So I figured for the review I'd just do that, but I didn't because I use, I've used them all now for videos and stuff. And this gun didn't jam for a while until I was using it in a big war. Um, and now it jams, actually quite frequently, so hopefully it doesn't jam during this video, because it was very, very reliable, still is, but there's times where it will jam, like I was filming a, 
a Nerf storyline, which I can't talk about right now, but this gun kept jamming, and we just played along like it was supposed to happen, but on both takes, like even on the retake, it still didn't work. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't do that in this video, but I think guys, we're pretty good to test this baby out. All right guys, let's do it. I'll be aiming for that top small square. So let's see how accurate this baby is. And I could do this full auto, but oh, one more thing though. The bolts do slide out or go all the way down. So you have to make sure like if they've been used even a little bit, the, gun, the bolts slide out a little, which is super annoying. But, should be fine. Let's see if it works. <laughs> 24 darts. Oh, yeah, if you put it down, these darts will fall. It's like, these are like new darts. So, it is very picky. That's the one, that's the one problem I have with this gun. I really love it. It just, like, way easy to pull out. I'll try not to point it down. Ready? Let's go. See, it makes that noise when it jams and already jammed. Wow. Well, man, this is really sad because I feel like I'm giving a bad presentation of this, even though it's actually such an amazing blaster. Oh, see, pull it went all the way through the bottom. So you guys gotta be careful about that. And that dart probably won't actually shoot. Because it got pinched. Eh, might work. Let's try. Alright. Let's go again. Wow, 24 darts like that. So, I, it was actually a lot more accurate than I thought. And then there's just those wacky bullets, darts, that just went outwards. Like... But it's actually a lot more accurate than I thought of the, for this full auto blasters and for Mega. So, my friend and I, we were trying to sh just shoot one, and we were all the way farther back, way farther back than this, just to shoot the one square, and we both did it. So, it's actually got some accuracy, which is very nice to have in a Mega and a full auto blaster. Uh, one last thing, though, it does take a lot of, like, ammo. So, and it goes by fast, so you have to keep reloading. But this blaster is just fun. Like, literally, I had like three friends over and they all took turns shooting it. It took time out of their life just to shoot the thing. So, it's really fun to get a chance to use these. I definitely would. And, those expensive, I would definitely buy. It is recommended. Um, very fun blaster. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this, please leave a like and please subscribe. We have a lot of fun and exciting things coming out for the future. And with more subscribers, it makes us more feel obligated to get like do some cool stuff. Like once we start getting subscribers, I got a regulator, I got this baby. It's really fun. Um, and please subscribe because we have a lot of interesting and some fun stuff coming soon. Also, if you want to buy this, um, it's like... 60 USD recently is when I see it. USD is US dollars. I don't know if we're in any other countries. Um, I think its retail price was originally 80. So it could be 80, 70, 60 bucks around there. But it is definitely very fun to use. But also keep in mind, you have to buy D, you might have to buy D battery. So that ups the price. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Here is my regulator big review. And here is the Rapid Strike review. <laughs> oh, and click on my face to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm your host, Captain. See you guys later.